Spinel. Originally Pink Diamond's favorite playmate slash best friend turned villain after Pink abandoned her is without a doubt one of Steven's most formidable foes when it came to her strength. But just how strong is she though? I want to preface this before I get into the video that power scaling Steven Universe characters in general is a tad difficult due to the fact that there aren't that many fights that happen in the series, let alone fights that end with true and clear victors due to the way conflicts are resolved with a lot of the antagonists which is Steven turning them to his side slash becoming friends with them rather than flat out defeating them forever and never seeing them again. But for Spinel, I still really wanted to do this video for her because not only has she became one of my favorite villains, but when it came to having actual brawls with Steven and other characters on screen, she did more of that than any other major antagonist Steven has dealt with before. Maybe Jasper had more physical confrontation screen time against our protagonist than Spinel, but I feel like Spinel had more. I'd, I'd have to count though. <laughs> for starters, Spinel has the overall general skill set of any other homeworld gem, incredibly high physical strength regardless of her lanky stature, the ability to change her appearance, although for her case this isn't really a feat because her appearance changed because of the abandonment trauma, and she can store weapons inside of her gemstone, etc. Just to clear up any confusion, I'm pretty sure the Rejuvenator isn't a weapon that Spinel was just able to naturally summon. There's still that plot hole lingering in the movie of how she got her hands on the Rejuvenator on top of getting that giant injector in such a short period of time, but I just wanted to reiterate that that weapon isn't naturally hers. Homeworld used that to discipline gems that became too out of line. I don't see why a gem like Spinel, who was made to be a friend to Pink Diamond, would be able to naturally summon a weapon so dangerous. Despite this, Spinel is incredibly talented at wielding this weapon. During her first encounter with the crystal gems, she was swinging this thing around like it was nothing. She's looking like Hidan from Naruto Shippuden with all of its sight skills. Now for Spinel's main power, which is her elasticity. Spinel is able to stretch out, inflate, or reshape her limbs in a wide variety of ways to help her in combat or just to accomplish a specific goal depending on what the situation calls for. Although she'd only really made use of this power in a goofy slash playful fashion before Pink abandoned her, she was also very capable of using this power to assist her in fights. During the entirety of the other friends fight, she wasn't even going full tryhard mode, but none of the crystal gems were able to land a successful hit on her, whereas she landed several. <laughs> it's incredibly hard to get in on her because of how long her range is. I'd say she has some of the best range in the series when it comes to gems with natural superpowers. The only other gem that might be able to outrange her is Lapis, but she'd need a pretty decent amount of water in the area to make use of the outrange Spinel. This power and the way she uses it is very similar to that of Monkey D. Luffy from the manga slash anime series One Piece. Spinel definitely uses it in more of a old-timey cartoon fashion than Luffy does, but there are some attacks in particular that are very similar to Luffy's. For instance, Spinel's giant punch she used against Steven right at the end of the song Change. I am 1000% convinced that this took inspiration from Luffy's Gear 3rd attack, in which he inflates his fist to the size of a giant's. Then of course her classic stretched out punches and kicks which could be references to Luffy's gum gum pistol and gum to gum stamp. I'm not saying literally everything about Spinel's elasticity is a One Piece inspiration, but I'm sure some of it was. Rebecca has stated before that she loves One Piece, so I have faith Luffy helped shape Spinel in some way shape or form. Her punches definitely seem to be more effective than her kicks though. Her kicks were shown to be strong enough to knock Steven down, but when she went for a punch against Amethyst in the second fight against the Crystal Gems, it was hard enough to make a crack in solid concrete. Plus, even though Steven tanked this hit thanks to a shield, her third gear punch had enough force behind it to create a giant crater at the top of the injector. Her second attack on Steven, which she inflated both of her fists to each about a quarter of the size of the initial third gear punch, was enough to make the entire injector explode. She was wailing on Steven's shield a little bit before that, but those two attacks in particular were what caused the major damage to the injector for sure. As for speed, Spinel was shown to use her legs in a spring-like fashion, using her elasticity to gain high momentum. She first used this on Steven during the True Kind of Love fight, but was intercepted by Garnet before she was able to reach her. The second display was when she threw Steven into the sky during the change fight. She launched Steven hundreds of feet into the air, but was able to catch up to his height due to how much force she put into her spring jump. She was also quick enough to dodge Garnet's punches with ease during the other friends fight. With Spinel's durability, there isn't that much to go off of because she didn't take a whole lot of damage throughout the movie. She got poofed by the Rejuvenator, but I'm fairly certain that thing is powerful enough to poof any single stone gem that isn't one of the diamonds. The only other time besides that was when Pearl and Amethyst flung her at the side of the injector during the True Kind of Love fight, which, let's be real, I don't think would have been strong enough to even poof the average gem. So for the time being, I just have to give her um, an average gem durability rating, maybe slightly above average. 
If I had to rank Spinel in strength compared to the other antagonists Steven has dealt with, I'd say she is just below the diamonds and barely above Lapis. On paper, Lapis's hydrokinesis should be stronger than Spinel's elasticity, but the thing is, if there isn't water in the environment that Lapis can use, she's not able to do much. Like, if it was a 1v1 on the beach, you know, near the ocean, then it would probably go to Lapis. But if they fight anywhere that doesn't have a large body of water in the area, then Spinel would probably take the W. It's very environment-oriented for that matchup. She's definitely stronger than Jasper. Jasper probably has better durability than Spinel, but Spinel outranges and can pack a punch just as hard, if not harder, than Jasper can. If Spinel gets a pass to use the Rejuvenator too, then Jasper's definitely toast. Rejuvenator equipped Spinel took out the entire core Crystal Gem team and basically took out Steven in a sense because he didn't have his full powers until the very end of the movie. Any of the three diamonds are the only ones I can see getting an honest victory versus Spinel because all three of them, even individually, are strong as hell. Don't get me wrong, I loved watching rejuvenated Spinel be baby during the movie, but it would have been cool to see more action shots of new form Spinel in the movie to see what more she'd be capable of in a fight. We were given a solid amount for sure, but the power of elasticity has damn near endless potential with the diverse attacks, and it would have been so cool to see more of them in action. Beggars can't be choosers though. <laughs> That just about does it for this video though, I hope you guys don't mind me making two videos in a row about Spinel. She's just so precious, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a top 5 favorite songs from the movie for my next video about the movie, so be on the lookout for that soon. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Spinel's strength, if you agree or disagree with me putting her right below the diamonds and slightly above Lapis's power level, I'd you know, love to know your thoughts. As usual, be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, take care, bye bye.